study of complementary symmetry transistor power amplifier and its order code is 36225 so in this video we are going to discuss about the working of this trainer so this trainer signifies study of complementary symmetry transistor power amplifier so here we are having a 100 ohm pot and here we are having three transistor first is bc147 second is sl100 and third is sk100 and here we are having a dc emitter which ranges from 0 to 5 milliampere and 0 to 50 milliampere so this is the toggle switch which we can use to switch between 0 to 5 milliampere and 0 to 50 milliampere now we are going to perform an experiment on the kit so the experiment we are going to perform is to measure the dc voltage at certain test points with and without signal so for that firstly we need to switch on the function generator so now with no signal at the input we need to measure the dc voltage with respect to ground at test points a b c d and e so now we will measure the dc voltage so here we are using a multimeter for measuring the dc voltage and now we have switch on the trainer and we will connect the ground to the ground and now we will measure the dc voltage firstly at point a with no input signal so we are getting approximately 2 volt at a and now we will be measuring the dc voltage at b so we are getting approximately 4 volt now at c we are getting 5 volt now at d we are getting 4.47 volt and at e we are getting 1.3 volt now we need to connect the function generator to the input sockets but before that we need to connect h2 f and g2 i like this so we need to do the connection like this and now we need to provide a 1 kilohertz sine wave at the input so here i have connected the sine wave at the input and now we will measure the output voltage at ac so we will switch on the trainer and now we will measure the output voltage at ac so here we are getting an output voltage of ac 1.5 volt and now we will vary this sine wave form so we will reduce the input sine signal from 1 kilohertz to 800 hertz so here you can see the variations in the reading so now i have kept it at 500 hertz so we are getting 1.56 volt and now if i will reduce it to 100 hertz then i will be getting 1.57 at the output ac voltage so that is how we need to measure the ac voltage at the output section so after the ac measurement at the output voltages now we will measure the dc voltage by providing the sine wave so we have measured the dc voltage without the input and now we will measure the ac voltage with input so we will connect the ground to the ground and we have kept it at dc voltage and now we will measure the dc voltage at a which is approximately 1 volt and at b it is approximately 6.3 and at c we are getting 
six point eight, and at D we are getting six volt, and at E we are getting one volt. So that is how you need to take the readings, and you need to form the observation table which is given in the manual. So that is how you can perform the experiment in this kit. So that's all the demonstration from my side. If you have any query regarding this kit, you can contact the Tesla Global website. You can find the link in the description for more information. Go through the manual. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, like, share, and subscribe.